Hey, what's up, YouTubers? I'm Inubis. This is my channel, Inubis Paracosm. So I'm back again with some gameplay footage this time of Battlefield 4 uh, using my external GPU. So first, I want to apologize for the terrible video footage uh, that I'm about to show you. This, it's uh, really tough to watch. Now, it, it's sad because while I was playing, it was fairly smooth. It was about 40 to 50 FPS in 720p resolution. Obviously, the, the bottleneck that I was expecting made a major appearance here. The CPU just couldn't handle recording and playing the game at the same time. So, unfortunately, a lot of this footage is really... Uh, really tough to watch. For that reason you should focus on the image quality rather than the smoothness because it just doesn't match the experience that I had playing the game. There are a couple moments where the video speeds up and matches my gameplay experience. The majority of the film is really choppy so I'm going to cut out uh, the audio in a lot of places because it gets really annoying. Okay, so all the hardware I used for this is down in the description. But uh, to summarize, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 with 4 gigabytes, and I'm using a Dell Inspiron 1420, which is a pretty old laptop, uh, 8 years old. It has a Core 2 Duo CPU, uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and that's it. So after the opening sequence, um, I run inside the building here, and there's going to be a firefight. I, I do this scene twice so you can compare settings a little bit. The first time I run through it I'm using low settings uh, and then after I die basically I tried to improve the visuals but I still focus on performance so uh, keep that in mind not all the settings are on ultra or most of them aren't actually but it still looks pretty good on my end. So I'll just shut up now and let you watch the video. I did try to run some benchmarks. Uh, I had quite a few problems though. Uh, 3D Mark gave blue screen of death errors all over the place, regardless of the settings. Unigen Heaven ran, but it also froze in full screen. But I ran it with extreme settings uh, in 720p with 8 times anti-aliasing. It looked pretty nice. It was running pretty smooth, 40 FPS. Uh, it froze after about 30 seconds though, so an incomplete test. Uh, I also ran Maxon Cinebench, which ran fine in windowed mode. I got just over 39 FPS in their OpenGL test, which was good for 6th place among their reference cards listed, right between the GeForce GT650 and the GT620. Bottom line is I get about 40 to 50 FPS in 720p. Uh, there are loading issues uh, related to the bottleneck of the CPU and the RAM. There are occasional crashes, occasional blue screen of death or freeze. Okay, in the next part here I go outside and it looked okay outside, uh, but it definitely impacted performance a bit. And as I go up this hill here, you'll notice uh, 
on the horizon, there are no buildings. So what happened there? Um, I'm guessing that the RAM is insufficient and uh, it's a bottleneck for loading different things into the game. Uh, I will run down there in a second and you'll notice that all of a sudden the buildings pop up out of nowhere and you can't clip through them anymore. In this next area I do a little sniping and you'll see an explosion go off. Uh, it looks pretty nice in game. Uh, it didn't really s make too big of an impact on gameplay. Um, all the clouds and dust particles and stuff were, were there but uh, I could still play so... Then I go into one more new area here, and just like before, the buildings on the horizon are not loaded up. There's nothing out there at all. Uh, that personally, to me, that's a bigger problem than the frame rate because you know you can't play the game if the objects just aren't in the environment. Despite the occasional crashes, I still consider the experiment a success. I mean, this is an eight-year-old laptop with Core 2 Duo and it runs Battlefield 4. It's not entirely playable, but for a, a project like this, I think it's a success. But there should be a lot fewer problems running older games. In the future, I do plan to get a new laptop, and when I do that, I'll make some more uh, video footage. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions or suggestions for my channel, uh, please post it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you liked my videos. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Inubis. I'll see you later.